to be a pretty big hole. Okay, so that's the general shape. Uh, I've just got to tap, drill, cut. How's that look? Yeah, pretty good. Okay. The middle looks to be about there. So. Alright. Start out with that. And move up to the biggest bit I own. So, let's get it started. Make sure you close, if you're doing this on top, rolling toolbox, make sure that you close all the drawers, otherwise you get a bunch of chips and woods inside of your toolbox, and you don't want that. Step number one, got the big bit on. I'm gonna put, I just wanna keep the bits lubricated, and maybe it'll, I, in my mind, I think, oh, it's gonna, going to be in better shape in the long run if I do it. So I dipped it in a little bit of oil. Really should be using a drill press. Really should be. Oh, once it gets down to the edge and it wants to catch, it is it is sketchy. <laughs> so, got that. It was a huge pain in the ass. Filed way more than I thought I'd have to. But it's done. So, let's get sawn. Bam, a little bit of, just do a little bit of trimming where those black marks are and uh, take the edges down and then I'll replicate this piece and I'll have two of them. Okay, so top bracket's done and I rushed the welding because I only have a little bit of time today and it's ugly. But I'm going to paint it and maybe I'll just sand it down a little bit. And I got that bottom bracket attached to the O2 sensor bung. And now I'm going to go, I'm just going to measure it. And I'm going to get some round stock. And I'm going to attach the two pieces. And then I'll take it to the table, finish welding it, primer paint, so on and so forth, and it'll be done. Ended up needing a six inch piece. And I, I let it, it's a little long, but... We'll see. So I've got it all mocked up. It's, uh, it's in there. I'm just going to uh, tack weld it and then take it to the bench and then finish welding it. But if I go to here, uh, there's actually, uh, I don't know if it'll come through on this, but there's actually plenty of clearance uh, to ensure that the swing arm uh, doesn't interfere with the rod that I built. Whew. So she's hot, and um, I didn't close up every single gap, but again, it's it's not a roll cage. It's it's holding up an exhaust that probably doesn't even need a bracket. So anyways, that's it. Um, I'll go ahead and primer, paint it, mount it up. Oh, 
All right, so we've got the bracket and it's painted. It is not a work of art, but she's gonna go in right there and then attach the mid pipe for some extra support. Again, I wasn't exactly sure if I needed it, but I'm glad I built it and uh, it should help to support it a bit. So let's, uh, let's get this thing installed. And that's it. You grab this guy, try not to shake it too much. And so, got our finished product. Uh, the bracket looks pretty good. The muffler looks incredible. I really enjoy uh, the look of this, uh, even more so than that short uh, black, uh, sorry about that noise. Even more so than that short black GP exhaust. And so, uh, it looks really great. Um, I'm not super into this guy, but I'm, I'm going to keep it on anyway, uh, just to make sure that I don't get any rattles from it. And uh, and it looks it looks good. Wait to see, you know, side profile. I think I really kept it nice and tight to the side of the of the bike. <laughs> Straight pipe. <laughs> so we'll do a startup video here shortly when I can take it outside. It's raining right now, and uh, we'll do another clip of the bike running and see what it sounds like. I don't think it's going to be too loud, uh, mostly because that stock exhaust manifold is uh, definitely dampening a lot of the sound coming out of the bike, uh, plus the muffler. If it was just straight piped um, plus the muffler, um, I'm sure it would be too loud. But yeah, here we go. Well, here it is in all of its current glory. New muffler looks awesome. Um, the bike looks awesome. I mean, we started out with a Suzuki Gladius, you know, pretty much an ugly motorcycle, and now it is no longer ugly. So uh, I'm going to call that a success. So let's do a quick uh, startup, and we'll see how the new muffler sounds. Bear with me. is rare but it's pretty cool to see that little bit of condensation and smoke shoot out the the muffler like that um doesn't seem too loud at all uh, looks awesome uh pretty fun project so far we'll see where i take it next